everybody, this is Praxis, and today I've been working here in the bathroom area. Uh, yesterday I got this wall uh, pretty much done, did a little bit more today. Got this door in here and started some of the carpentry up along the back side there. Uh, I'm wearing the mask because we had a person that was going to be connecting the internet here, uh, here today. They were supposed to get it all done, uh, but they told me uh, that there's some problem with the street, like there's some connection point that isn't there that they took for granted would be there, and it's not. They were able to pull the cable fine, which is a really long cable run. Uh, they pushed, I pulled, uh, had gloves, and cleaned my hands afterwards because they were, you know, touching the whole thing on the way in. I'm pulling the thing on the way in as well. So, uh, you know, that went all right other than the fact that, you know, they weren't able to do it. And that might seem like, well, that's, you know, who cares? It's a construction site. Why does it matter whether you have internet? Well, the benefit of having internet would have been that, uh, you know, Every afternoon from 1 to 3, River does playtime with his friends virtually online now that we're in the you know, pandemic situation. Uh, if he'd been able to do that here with me, that would be two extra hours per day that I could have worked here. Plus the amount of time of like breakdown and clean up and you know, set up and all that kind of stuff. So it probably, probably would have added about three hours per day of work. Uh, and now they're saying it's going to be two or three weeks. So like you know, on the outside maybe like 20 days of delay. Uh, times three hours a day is like 60 hours of work that, you know, I don't, you know, is going to be, you know, kicked closer into the fall, closer into the winter. So, uh, a little disappointed about that. It would have been nice to have gotten those 60 hours, uh, you know, accessible, but, you know, that's not the way that it worked out. While we're in here, I wanted to mention another thing that's, you know, kind of, <laughs> kind of bad and depressing is I noticed the plumber screwed up in another way, uh, also. I'd asked them that, uh, this is the drain coming from the, uh, the tub and the sink. I'd asked them that I wanted the uh, clothes washer to also tie in before this point so that all three would be gray water coming down here before they mixed with the black water from the pipe, uh, I'm sorry, from the pipe from the toilet. Uh, what they did instead is that they combined the sink and the bathtub here and then they, they kept running the cl uh, clothes washer all the way down and it it merges in after the black water goes in. So that's just, it's another mistake that the plumbers made. We had a lot of conversations about that. Um, and you know, well, it's a whole process, you know. You don't do it yourself and there's a pretty darn good chance that it's gonna have a problem. They've got galvanized, uh, some kind of galvanized metal touching the copper. I don't know if that's a problem like electrically if it's going to cause a problem. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, you know, always check up on things because um, people screw a lot of stuff up. That's a big one because it has to tie in here, go back to the gray water tank, and then the overflow is going to come down through here, down in. I'm going to have an access port here because it has to go up to the greenhouse through there. And I think I'm going to finish the work there. I wish I could put, put the work in now, but we have to do that stuff after inspection because, uh, uh, the government loves the earth, but they hate gray water, which makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.